I would vlog today. I have not vlogged in forever. I have a bunch of stuff that I want to get done, mainly just cleaning up. I have some DIYs I want to start. And um, yeah, I just don't have a lot going on. I just want to get stuff done today. So I thought I would take you along with me. I just cut out this little lemon um, on my Cricut for a label that I want to put on a planter that had gotten my uh, best friend for her birthday. Her birthday's coming up. She doesn't watch my videos. This will be up before her videos. Before her birthday, but she doesn't watch my videos. So I thought that I would put this um, on a planter for her. I got her a Meyer lemon tree for her birthday. She wants a Meyer lemon tree, but she wants a big one. She, she told me a while ago that was gonna be the first floor plant she buys when she can buy a floor plant. She has toddlers. So, um, and she, you know, she doesn't want the toddlers to dig in there. So I thought I would get her a small one that she could put on her countertop and, um, you know, it'll grow into, you know, a normal size tree. It's a dwarf Meyer lemon. I think they get to be about six to eight feet tall maximum. So, uh, yeah, I looked all over for a pot for it. Uh, I went to Lowe's and Home Depot and stuff, and I just didn't find one that was calling my name. So, or that I thought she would like so much. So I just used one that I already have. It's just a simple white ceramic pot and I'm putting the lemon on it um, to decorate it up a bit for her. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I think it will be cute. There is the pot right there. I think it is just classic, you know, it's just simple and classic and understated. And I think it will be gorgeous with the lemon on it. I have it up here. When it came, it came in a box. The, the tree came in a box and um, it, all the dirt had fallen out of it. So I wanted to make sure I got it into a pot right away. But I think it is really pretty. Can you see the leaves there? I think that is just so pretty. So I think, um, yeah, I think that's what I will do. Get that lemon on there. But for now, I have to clean up my mess. I've got dirt in there and dishes and a daughter waiting for me to finish <laughs> and just stuff to put away. Sun on the couch, mess here to clean up, mess over there to clean up and laundry to do. So that's what I'm gonna do today.
This portion of the kitchen is all clean, looking good. So, upon further inspection, I wish that I had made that lemon a little bit smaller. <laughs> but, you know, it's good, right? Okay, so, oh, let's fix that. There. So that's what that's looking like. I need to pick up my thing. You guys, I take this out <laughs> all the time because it's missing a screw. So don't mind the sleeping sun in the couch. But let me just toss it in here. I have this old hearth and hand scale that I haven't used in forever. Um, my son lost the screw out of the top, so it always it doesn't even work anymore. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I like it. I've tried to use it several times to decorate with, and I just end up not using it. So I think I'm going to donate this, you guys. I don't know, but I still really like it. I think I'm going to put this in the maybe bucket for a little while. Um, I have one going on downstairs. You're hearing my dryer. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, I think this is going to be go in holding in the maybe bucket for a little bit. So I'm going to put this, I have a little pile of stuff over here on the ledge that I am um, taking downstairs in a minute, so I'm just accruing it so I can take it all down at one time. Okay, and then there's these little guys. These are going to go in the maybe bucket as well because I bought them. I cannot find little tops for them. For spray bottles that will fit I have tried so many different ones I can't find them so um, these are also gonna go in the maybe pile or maybe I'll keep them for a DIY that would be super cute I don't care I think I'm gonna put this in my craft stash this is how my mom station is looking like um, it has kind of become a drop zone since I moved my computer downstairs to my little makeshift work area. I don't even work down there still uh, because I don't have a proper desk. So it, this is, it's just, I'm in a big transition mode, I guess. But um, I have, you know, cords and actually I can probably just pop that up there right now. That's my iPad. Um, and lamps and this I want to take care of today. I actually am going to refinish that today, I believe, but I just need to take care of all of this clutter because it is driving me bananas, you guys. I also just received my May, April, I was going to say May, Simply Earth box, um, and it is all about summer skincare um, and summer recipes, and it's really exciting. Um, because you can see here they have a beachy hairspray. I am totally taking that. Um, a summer day diffuser blend. I'm going to be making that today. After sun blend, hibiscus skin repair bath salts, travel buddy roll on. We're getting ready to go to New York, so that will be exciting. Um, the beachy hairspray as well as the hibiscus hibiscus frozen facial. This box costs $39 a month. It is a subscription box and you get four full sized uh, essential oils plus all the extra little goodies that you need to make it every six months. Well, with your first box, they'll also send you a big bonus box with a bunch of extra stuff that you'll everything you will need to make your first six months of boxes. And after that, you will get um, every six months another big bonus box. Um, also, if you use my code down below, you will get a $40 e-gift card in your email towards your next uh, Simply Earth purchase. So that is amazing. It's like getting your box free, plus a little, right? So, um, yeah, that I love this box. The recipes are amazing and I make them over and over again. So I would highly suggest this box and I will leave my coupon code down below for you if you are interested. Now, I have been thinking, this is all the mumbo jumbo that I need to take care of that needs to go downstairs. I love that thing. I'm just going to put it away for just a little bit, maybe, I don't know. I actually have some, can you see over there, right there. I have my, what are they called? Lilacs over there. But you guys, every time I cut them, they start wilting right away this year, and I'm not sure why. 
So I think that um, I'm gonna put my candle back over there, but I wanna wash up the globe first. So I think I'll do that, just spiff it up. Take care of this stuff, get this stuff cleared off. So I don't know if I'm going to like this blend yet because it does call for the anise. Um, so I think that I'm just going to make one drop, it's just basically one drop of each of these in my um, diffuser. So I'm just going to do that for now and if I like it I'll make the diffuser blend later or I'll know if I like the anise or not and I can make you know, the, diff the diffuser blend without the anise. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So even the best laid plans get derailed. Um, I just spent a good little while with my daughter Alexandra who has been basically locked out of the Facebook marketplace. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if she got hacked or if she's, she posts memes a lot and they're saying she's trying to post political ads. So she has to confirm her identity and we've been doing that for actually a couple of weeks. We haven't been able to get the pictures to upload. That's very particular. Got him to upload. Still couldn't confirm her identity, so now we have to go to the Notary Republic <laughs> to confirm your identity for Facebook. So I am starving now. It is like two o'clock, and I haven't even eaten anything yet today. So I made myself a giant bowl of Greek yogurt with one packet of stevia and a ton of strawberries because we need to eat them up. And tomorrow's grocery shopping day, so 
I'm going to eat this. Then when I'm done, I'm going to finish this project up. I want to get my labels. I would like to get my labels on my uh, oils and my get them all cut up and put them away in my little container. And this, I have a video on this. This is how I store my essential oils. So I'm going to eat this. I'm hungry. work on this lamp. Um, I actually have two lamps that I need to work on, but I need to be able to use one lamp. So I'm going to do this one first, and then um, on a, at another time I'll do the other one. But I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it all apart, take the cord off, and then um, I'll probably end up cutting this to pull it out a little bit, and then later I can just replace it with some belt or something like that and um, take it down and strip it. So I'm gonna get started. Okay, so I have dinner started. I started off by just cleaning up some Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. I basically just cut the extra stem off and cut them in half and put them in some water to parboil. Um, I just got it started just now. So I will bring these up to a boil and let them boil for three minutes only. And then I'll strain them. I've got some burger cooking with some simple seasonings, just some salt and pepper and some garlic powder, that's it. Got my water boiling for my noodles. Once all of this is done cooking, I will then strain the Brussels sprouts and transfer them to this pan um, with some a little bit of butter and some Parmesan cheese and caramelize them. Oh my gosh, it is my favorite way to eat Brussels sprouts. It almost gives them a nutty flavor. It's so good. I'll probably add a little garlic salt with those too. And then in back in that pan, I will add the four cans of cream of mushroom and a little bit of sour cream. It works out to be about half and half, but I don't measure. So it, that is what I'm going to do for dinner tonight. And then, um, just assemble it all and I'll show you what that looks like, like later. So right now I do have my lamp out there. I did, did spray paint it. I don't know. Can you, there we go. I have it spray painted out there. So my lamps look like their first coat is dry. Oh, I don't even know that they're going to need another coat. They look pretty good. Hmm. That looks pretty darn good. Still just a hair tacky. Oh, those bugs. Pesky bugs. Oh, but that looks pretty darn good, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna give them a little longer to dry. I don't think they need another coat. Yay! And the color I chose was um, this smoky beige uh, by Rustoleum. I love this color.